go. All right, so final tutorial session of the day, last but not least. Uh, I mean, very excited about this program that we uh, we announced like a couple of months ago. Uh, so talk, I think we uh, have a couple of great speakers to talk about GitLab Hero. So uh, John, Emily, I'll turn things over to you. You could start off with an intro, intro sec, uh, quick intro, and then feel free to share your screens and um, love to talk hear more about the heroes. Awesome, thanks, Ray. Uh, Emily, do you want to introduce yourself quickly and then I'll go into my bit? Sounds great. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily. I am a program manager for the Technical Evangelism Program, which you'll learn more about shortly. Thank you, Emily. And I'm John Coglin. I work on the community relations team here at GitLab. Um, I'm based out of New York City. And in addition to our Heroes program, I also run our Meetups program. Um, so if you have questions about that, you can always reach out to me uh, through our evangelist at gitlab.com email address. But today we're here to talk about Heroes. Um, Heroes is a program that is, um, let me just put this in present mode. Um, can everyone still see my screen? Yep. All right, cool. Um, so here's is a program uh, that we started in July, um, and it's been really fun. Um, it's been a great way for us to kind of um, engage with the community a little bit more. And so today, I just wanted to to kind of walk you through some of that. Um, so, you know, I think GitLab's story is really part of like how the Heroes program came to be. And so I just want to walk you through a little bit of. Um, Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties on my end. Um, a little bit of our story around GitLab for people that aren't familiar, and then uh, we'll get into the details of the program later. So GitLab um, started as an open source project. Um, it became, you know, later became a company when our CEO, Sh Sid, shared uh, GitLab, GitLab.com as a show hacker news post. Um, and we've, you know, that, Kind of Hacker News Post generated a lot, generated a lot of interest in the company, um, and so Sid informed Dimitri, who was uh, the one of our other co-founders um, and the creator of the open source project, that he would be, you know, monetizing GitLab.com, and and Dimitri was just happy to get exposure for his open source project, um, and so it was a really kind of um, interesting, you know, creation story where community was um, very much part of GitLab from the beginning, and. Um, you know, open source and engaging with our community on Hacker News was critical to the early growth of the company. And it's still something that's really important to GitLab as we've um, continued to grow. You can still see our CEO um, commenting on Hacker News posts um, from time to time. And, you know, um, GitLab's still an open core company, which, you know, everyone on the Sackathon knows. Um, and we want to thank you for your efforts and the, you know, other contributions that you make to GitLab and our community. Um, I'm sure, you know, Ray shares these stats with the community all the time, but, um, we had more than 200 merge requests for our 12.3 release, and we're hoping to continue building on those numbers and the hackathon, you know, that's happening right now as part of that. Um, you know, just one other aside, um, earlier, you know, this year in May and June, I spent two weeks with our CEO, Sid, as part of the CEO shadow program. And one thing that was really interesting was that in nearly every meeting with someone who is kind of, you know, learning about GitLab or external to GitLab, um, Sid would share metrics around our community and their contributions to GitLab. So all of you that are contributing uh, during this hackathon or contributing before or after this hackathon, um, just know that, you know, our executive team, our CEO, um, you know, and lots of people around the kind of industry um, will be hearing about your contributions because Sid always is mentioning those numbers. Um, when he's talking about, you know, things and metrics around the company. Um, so just wanted to share that with everyone here that, you know, your contributions are really important to us and um, get a lot of visibility beyond GitLab. Um, so, yeah, so, um, you know, next I just wanted to talk a few minutes about our values for folks who are new to GitLab. So GitLab has six values, which together spell credit. Um, you know, our collaboration value is about helping others and working together. Our results value is about doing what you promise. 
um, and what is best for our organization and community as a whole. Um, efficiency is about working on the right things and doing what's best for our community. Um, and by working on the right things, we're able to achieve more progress. Um, diversity and inclusion is around fostering an environment where everybody can thrive. Uh, and that's part of our you know, company's mission is that everyone can contribute. Um, and we work to make you know, folks feel welcome and to try and increase participation of uh, underrepresented minorities and uh, diverse nationalities in our community and our company. Um, iteration is around doing the smallest thing and getting it out as quickly as possible. And I think that's a good thing to mention during you know, the hackathon, like every uh, merge request is appreciated. So it doesn't have to be you know, a huge contribution, even folks who are uh, making changes to typos in our documentation or translations, you know, we value all of those um, contributions that help us to improve even if the change uh, you know, seems relatively small. And then transparency um, you know, is something that GitLab has been known for. Um, it can be challenging, but you know, we try to be as open uh, as we can about as many things as possible. And you know, by sharing information publicly, it, we believe it reduces kind of or lowers the barriers to contribution and makes collaboration easier. So GitLab's grown tremendously over the years. We were up to you know, more than a thousand people on our team across 65 countries. Um, Ray, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have more than 4,000 contributors. Is that right? Yep. More than 4,000 people have contributed to our open source project. Um, we have 7,000 meetup members globally. I talked about you know, the meetups program earlier, um, but we encourage you to get out and, and find those groups um, near you and, and get involved. Um, and more than 100,000 organizations are using GitLab with millions of users. Um, so um, here's a sample of some of the companies that are using GitLab. I'm sure some of you are familiar with um, some or many of these companies. They may even work for some of them. Um, you know, over time, the community has really um, continued to grow. Both the number of contributors and the number of contributions have been really impressive and something that our team and uh, GitLab as a whole is really proud of. Um, and so we hope those numbers continue to grow. So uh, next hackathon, you got to invite a friend to help out and participate. Um, Here's just a, another kind of visual on the contributions per milestone. And that trend um, has been growing nicely over the last few um, years. The GitLab Meetup community has global distribution. We have 34 groups with 7,000 members. Um, you know, there's lots of groups in kind of every continent and geography. Uh, but if you don't see a group near you, feel free to reach out to me and we can talk about getting one going. Um, and yeah, and, and that's just kind of like an overview of GitLab as a whole and, and, and our community. I think it's important to have that context as we get into this conversation around heroes, um, because you know a lot of what we're trying to do with heroes is enable um, you know support and recognize the folks that have allowed us to achieve some of those um, important milestones. The growth that we've experienced, both as a company and as in a community, couldn't have happened without you know the top contributors. Um, the folks that have really driven GitLab forward through their contributions, whether it was giving talks about us at local uh, tech events or um, advocating for GitLab in their organizations, um, writing blog posts about the, some of the features that we're releasing or starting you know, meetup groups to bring the GitLab community together in their hometown. There's so many ways that people have contributed to that growth and um, everybody that's you know, on the call today has been a part of that. So we thank you for that. Um, and, and Heroes is really the next evolution. So GitLab Heroes, you know, the goal of the program is to engage, support, and recognize the members of our community who are making outstanding contributions to GitLab. Um, you know, we're hoping that the program allows us to connect you know, and strengthen our bonds with the, those top contributors. Um, so folks who apply and can demonstrate those exceptional contributions, I kind of gave a few examples earlier. Um, will receive support and rewards uh, from GitLab to enable and sustain uh, continued contribution. You know, the, the idea is like we want to provide you with the resources and tools and access that you need to be successful um, as you help us share, you know, the GitLab community and grow the GitLab community. So, you know, moving forward, you know, if you've made great contributions, you know, to our open source software, written blog posts, um, about migrating to GitLab, and you want to, you know, 
share your story at a conference or write a blog post about it, you know, heroes, you know, and our tech, event, tech evangelism team, you know, we're here to help. Um, you know, maybe you've been contributing, you know, to, you know, the open source project and now you want to start a meetup group uh, to get more folks contributing to GitLab. We're here to help with that too. Um, or maybe there's something else, you know, that we don't know about um, that you're doing that's really cool. Um, you know, and we want to, you know, help you kind of amplify those efforts, whatever it is that you're doing to help the community. Um, you know, we want to help and heroes is just one of the ways that we've kind of created to do that. Um, you know, some of the rewards that we offer to heroes are, um, access to our team, connecting them with speaking opportunities, whether that's just making them aware of interesting opportunities, uh, near them or pairing them with meetup groups that are looking for a speaker, potentially working on submissions for conferences together. Um, there's lots of different ways that we do that. Um, heroes also get invites to GitLab events. Um, you know, and of course there's special hero swag, um, for our heroes, um, so that they can show off to their coworkers and friends. Um, but you know, the real value add, you know, in addition to, you know, those perks is the opportunity to develop new skills, meet new people, make new connections and kind of elevate your profile in the GitLab community. And we think those things are really valuable for people like it for personal and professional development. So I mentioned, you know, some of the ways that folks can get involved. I just wanted to kind of reiterate, um, you know, how we look at things. So contributions in the form of merged MRs, um, you know, are, are kind of one of the, you know, criteria that we look at. Um, technical content, that could be a blog post, a YouTube video, a demo, a tech talk for a meetup group or a conference, uh, you know, are all kind of different, um, you know, contributions that we, uh, consider as you know important criteria for our heroes and then folks that are organizing uh, meetup groups um, or co-organizers of an existing group or um, you know giving a talk about GitLab at a meetup group um, are all different ways that you can you know kind of meet the criteria that we've set for the program um, but I also want to add the caveat that you know as we've gotten um, you know hundreds of applications for the program already we recognize that there are people that are doing some interesting and surprising things that we hadn't thought of or weren't aware of, and that's awesome. So please don't let you know my kind of um, imagination or uh, you know knowledge limit you when applying. Make sure you know you, you include all of the great contributions that you're making to um, our community. We've heard from folks who are giving great feedbacks to our product team or contributing to our forums and Gitter conversations. Um, you know, setting up a GitLab instance at a local university are all um, some of the surprising contributions that we've heard. And um, we're open and excited to hear uh, more about what you're doing that we're not even aware of. So I mentioned, you know, some of the rewards already. Um, we talk about, you know, heroes with kind of three different levels in mind. So we have the contributor level, um, the hero level, and the superhero level. And, you know, the kind of travel through those three um, levels we call the hero's journey. So they'll start as a contributor, move up to a hero, and eventually become a superhero. Some people might start at the hero or superhero level depending on their you know, existing contributions. Um, we have a number of our core team who have applied for heroes and um, you know, they kind of qualify at that superhero level because of their contributions um, and ongoing contributions to GitLab. Um, but for most folks, they'll be starting at the contributor level. Um, and then there's corresponding rewards that go along with those levels. So everybody gets hero swag, our heroes get these free um, GitLab Gold or Ultimate licenses. Um, you know, the superheroes are the ones who, you know, will get the most support from Emily's team. Um, but, you know, you can see more about that on our heroes page um, on our site. So um, Emily, you know, is on the call today. Um, she's from our technical evangelism team, as she mentioned earlier. And um, she's going to share some of, uh, you know, the process of um, how her team supports the HEROES program and other folks in the community. Thanks, John. Yes, uh, the technical evangelism team is super excited uh, to work with HEROES and the greater community um, and just like harnessing all this great energy and passion that's already out there. Um, so as John mentioned, some of those benefits include support from GitLab team members and then coaching to really build up your, as in our speakers and our community members, um, brands as you're, as you're getting comfortable speaking in the community, um, starting groups, et cetera. 
so just a quick uh, step back, what exactly is technical evangelism? Um, so my team's job, we're really trying to centralize all of the efforts that people are putting into uh, creating great content, um, creating uh, expertise, uh, streamlining preparation, helping to facilitate um, really polished proposals and final presentations at the end. Um, so we want to focus in on the content side of things, whereas the community side is really focusing on the uh, enablement, right? Getting, getting the word out there. Um, so uh, how technical evangelism can help. Um, I'm here. Uh, you can always tag me. My uh, GitLab handle is at eChin, like the bottom of your face. Um, but if you ever need support with uh, proposal creation, we actually have a template uh, called CFP-open. Um, and just use that, fill it out, tag me. Again, that's Heechin. Um, and we're happy to provide feedback to help brainstorm, to think through flow content um, and give suggestions there. Uh, for smaller events or meetups or more intimate events, um, you can just share your slides via uh, Google Slides. I'm happy to provide feedback for larger events. We can also uh, schedule practice sessions. It doesn't matter the time zone. I'm happy to get up at all hours of the day or night to chat through your ideas, um, to practice, uh, and give any feedback. Um, I'm happy to provide uh, just a different perspective, a different point of view. Um, and we also want to help you promote. Uh, so we have uh, lots of great influencers within GitLab who can help retweet or share your content, share your blog posts, uh, uh, talks, recordings. Um, so add that hashtag GitLab. Let us know when you're going to be presenting and then technical evangelism can really help to elevate your brand. Um, and then if you want to chat more or have any questions, as John mentioned, the best way to find us is just emailing evangelists at gitlab.com. Um, I'm also on that email so I can see those messages. Feel free to reach out. Happy to chat through what technical evangelism is and how we can really partner with our awesome heroes. With that, I will hand it back over to John. Thanks, Emily. And um, for folks who are wondering where they can find that template, is that in the corporate um, marketing project? I believe so. Thank you for checking. Um, and maybe up. we can add a link. Yep, that's great. Yeah, so I'll just quickly share my screen. If you go into the corporate um, marketing project and go to issues, um, oops and create a new issue, um, you can choose that CFP submission template um, and that'll have all the information that you need to share with Emily um, to help her give you um, great feedback on anything you're working on. Thanks, John. Cool, yeah, it looks like in the template you got, already have all the mentions in there in case people forget. Yep, so um, before we wrap up, um, I'm sure everyone's wondering, you know, how do you apply? Um, so if you go to our um, heroes page on our website, there's an application form. Um, you can, um, sorry, it's taking a second around there. You can input your information here. Um, and for folks, you know, we may need to follow up and kind of collect more information around your contributions, but the form is how you indicate interest. Um, and then one, one other call I'd like to make is that, you know, we're actively um, working to increase the diversity of the program. So if you know of people from underrepresented minorities, um, you know, who would be a good fit for the program, I would love for you to share uh, the HEROES page with them, encourage them to apply, um, or, you know, you could even kind of flag them for us. Um, another option would be sharing, um, you know, the page on your social network to help us get more visibility from the program from um, all types of folks. So um, those are some action items for, um, you know, our viewers to take if you want to help us spread the word to uh, increase the diversity of the program. Cool. Thanks, John and Emily. Uh, so if people have any questions, I mean, feel free to type them in the chat or verbalize them. Uh, I mean, I just wanted to make yeah, a couple of comments while if, in case people are thinking of questions. Uh, I think I mentioned this during the kickoff session. Uh, I mean, people that are, are, are dialed in or, or listening to the recording later on, 
probably, I mean, you've been making a lot of great contributions in terms of code or like a documentation fixes, and, and that's great. But I also wanted to highlight uh, through the HEROES program, other ways you can you can contribute to GitLab, uh, whether it's giving talks or, or writing blog posts or, or writing articles about it. And uh, like John mentioned, hopefully this uh, helps uh, find other ways for you to uh, increase your contribution and raise uh, I mean, your your profile and visibility, not just within the GitLab community, but in other open, open source community in general as well. And um, also want to give a quick plug for Emily. She's been very helpful uh, with my CFP, so I can, uh, I can certainly recommend uh, her input on guidance uh, in case people are working on uh, these submissions. Uh, to various conferences or talks, and it's been, been it's been absolutely valuable for uh, for my write-ups. So I just want to leave it there. Uh, Brian Matsui, and any questions or comments? No, not, none from me at the All moment. Right. right. Thanks, Brian. Cool. Uh, yeah, if there's anything else, like John, Emily, any any parting thoughts before we wrap up? Or just want to say thank you for the opportunity to you know speak with your kind of co-contributors, Ray, um, and yeah, just reemphasize the point that you made, which is you know I think there's a lot of, a lot of different ways that folks can contribute to GitLab, and this program is designed to kind of recognize folks that are making any of those types of contributions but also help folks who are contributing in one area get the support that they need to be able to contribute in multiple areas. So if you're contributing code and you've never written a blog post before, but that's a goal of yours, you know, Emily and I are here to help you achieve that goal, um, you know, and, and vice versa. If you're watching this video um, and you've been writing blog posts around GitLab and other technical content, uh, but you want to start contributing to open source, you know, Ray's here to help you with that. And so, you know, at GitLab, we're just trying to provide as much support as we can to the community. And Heroes is another way that we're doing that. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for joining and, and listening. And uh, hope uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you guys again soon. Thanks, John and Emily. Thank Cheers. you.